Welcome to Ag Lab. Today our question is, what is the hydrologic cycle? The hydrologic cycle, also commonly known as the water cycle, is the endless and continuous movement of water on, above, and below the Earth's surface. You might think the water in your drinking glass or the rain puddles on the pavement is new, but it has actually always been here and is just part of the water cycle. So, where did the water in your glass come from? How is the water in your glass related to the water in the ocean or the clouds in the sky? Let's follow a droplet of water as it circulates through the cycle. We start in the ocean, the largest source of water on Earth. Although there are many water droplets in the ocean, the heat from the sun can warm and turn them into water vapor. This process is called evaporation. As water vapor continues to heat up, water droplets are gradually swept away from the ocean by warm winds. Eventually, the vapor is pushed upwards by warm air. As the vapor moves upward, it meets colder air, causing it to chill and return to liquid form. This process is called condensation. Some of that vapor gets so cold that it can freeze, turning into tiny ice crystals. These small ice crystals eventually cluster together and become part of a cloud. When a cloud gets too heavy and big, some of it might fall away. Our water droplet tumbles from the sky towards the ground. This process is called precipitation. Our water droplet makes it back to land as rain, snow, or even hail. It can sink into the soil as groundwater, flow along the ground into a stream as runoff, or make its way back to the ocean to restart the whole cycle again. Sometimes, however, water stays on land, where it can be used for drinking and washing. Surface water is especially important because we also use it for irrigation to help us grow crops. Without irrigation, it would be impossible to produce the fruits, vegetables, and grains that we need to feed ourselves. To make sure water gets to where it needs to be, ARS scientists across the country are finding newer and better ways to manage our water. In Beltsville, Maryland, we're closely monitoring the planet's soil moisture and water stress through the NASA-launched Soil Moisture Active Passive, SMAP, satellite. Data from this satellite helps farmers by providing more accurate crop yield and weather forecasts in the arid southwestern U.S. We're developing new irrigation systems, sensor technologies, and water management practices to fight drought and wildfire in the arid southwestern U.S. And in California, scientists have saved millions of gallons of water on farms by developing an automated irrigation scheduling system that applies water to where and when it's needed most. You can find out more about the water cycle, irrigation, and efficient water use by visiting our website and searching for hydrology. We look forward to seeing you next time. For AgLab, I'm Kelly Harmon.